all for being here this morning and today uh, I'm very honored to be standing with the president of the Old Town Chamber of Commerce, Fred Grand, and many of the Old Town Chamber of Commerce board members, Dr. Stan Rodriguez, who is the member of the EPI Nation of the Santa Isabel and Kumeyaay Community College instructor, uh, Dr. Andy Strathman, a historian for the San Diego History Center and the professor at California State University San Marcos, Marley Ehrenfeld, who is the principal of MIG San Diego, and many members of the San Diego 250 Steering Committee. We're all glad that they could be here this morning because we're all here to highlight the last of three signature events in the year-long commemoration of San Diego's 250th anniversary. And here, right here in Old Town this weekend, San Diegans of all ages are invited uh, to come down and learn something about the Founders Day Festival. San Diego was shaped by many, as we know. The native Kumeyaay people who cared for this land, the European explorers who risked everything to voyage here, the civic leaders who saw promise in our maritime harbor and our beautiful bay, and the immigrants who come here to pursue the American dream, and the scientists who position us as a global leader in innovation, and the service members who make us home to the world's largest concentration of U.S. veterans and active duty military, right here in San Diego. And the list goes on. So when we embarked on this year-long commemoration to set out, we really set out to try to make it a very different celebration, to mark civic milestones in a way that has never been done, and to focus on history, to focus on culture, and to focus on education and to offer all perspectives with the emphasis of all on the long history of our great region. We kicked off in April, as you know, with an event hosted by the Port of San Diego to showcase the San Diego Bay and a history that it holds as some of the source of sustenance for our region. And then in July, hundreds, including international delegations and leaders from throughout California, gathered atop the Presidio um, for a truly special moment where for the first time ever, the Kumeyaay Nation raised a flag marking their continued presence in our San Diego story. And so now we come to the final event that we're gonna feature two days of fun, festivities, and entertainment that is really designed for San Diegans of all ages. Coordinated by the Old Town Chamber of Commerce, this event will feature booths and organ local organizations including the San Diego History Center, Save Our Heritage Organization, Old Town Community Foundation, the Campo Reservation, and the Kumeyaay College, among many, many others. It's also going to feature, and again, this is open and free to everybody, a traditional Kumeyaay basket weaving, classic car show, artifacts from the early settlements here in Old Town, and of course, three different stages with cultural entertainment, arts, crafts, so much more. This Founders Days Festival is really going to be, I think, a perfect bookend for diversity and culture to round out the 250th anniversary. And as I've mentioned many times, the best part, this festival is free for all San Diegans. So here to share a little bit more about the event is Fred Grand, who is the president of the Old Town Chamber of Commerce. Fred? Come on in, my friend. Thank you, Fred. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Faulkner. On behalf of the entire historic Old Town community, I'd like to welcome everyone to Old Town San Diego and let you know a little bit more about our upcoming celebration this weekend. Our historic district is site to the first Kosoi Kumeyaay village. We're also home of the most visited state park in California, which is soon to be expanded for the first time in 40 years to celebrate the culture and history of our first people, the Kumeyaay right at the northern gateway to our historic community. We're the site of the first Alta California mission and Presidio. We have in historic Old Town 10 diverse hotels and inns with more than 1,100 rooms and many of San Diego's most popular shops, historic sites and restaurants. Old Town San Diego Founders Day Festival as the mayor said, will be a fun family-oriented celebration and an opportunity to recognize and reflect on the great diversity of the people that make up Old Town's history. Our region was home and is home to the Kumeyaay, Tipai, Ipai, 
But in time, Old Town San Diego became a destination for many others. People who came by land and by sea, immigrants from all across the globe arrived here in Old Town. Those who stayed contributed to make San Diego the unique and diverse tapestry of peoples it is today. And we honor the many accomplishments as we recognize all those who have contributed to San Diego's unique identity, qualities, culture, and traditions. The City of San Diego and Old Town Chamber of Commerce, along with other community organizations, will host Founders Day. It will take place right here, Saturday and Sunday, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the main program will be on center stage at noon Saturday. Please join us for this fabulous event. We encourage people to use public transportation, which is quite convenient here in Old Town. Or if they choose to drive, there'll be free parking in the Caltrans lots on Taylor Street. Thank you very much. Thank you, Fred. Thank you, Fred. Thank you very much. Next, I welcome Dr. Stan Rodriguez, Kumeyaay Community College instructor, who will talk about his partic participation in uh, the weekend's event. Dr. Rodriguez. Glad you're here. Hokai Penya Mati Pe Cham, Stamunya Chukin, Makopai, Wishwinan, Pele Hilikuin, the way we you pay near Makosai. Buenos dias a todos, mi nombre es Stan Rodriguez, y yo soy Pai Cumia de Reserva de Santa Isabel, y ahorita son muy felices porque nosotros está aquí. My name is Stan Rodriguez, I'm a Pai Cumia. from the Santa Isabel Reservation. And I just wanted to say a little bit about this, this place. That's all right, I have a bike too. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, just wanted to say a little bit about this place, uh, Old Town. Talk about it, the 250th anniversary, 250 years. But for our people, the Ipai, Tipai, Kumiai people, 250 years is just a drop in the bucket. Our history here goes back to time immemorial. We talk about the Coronado Islands, that those used to be mountains that our people would walk to. We were here during a time when the ocean went back miles, and we have village sites that, that are underwater at this time. This side here, Old Town, we call Makosai, the dried land. And on the other side of the river was Nipkwai, the other village. Many people lived here. Our people would come on our migratory cycle. Many of the people coming from the mountains, from the desert, would come to um, Point Loma, which we called Matnil, the black land. On the bottom there were all these abalone beds that our people would harvest. Our people would harvest whales in the bay using tule boats. Our culture is rich here. In our creation story, it talks about this being part of the, our holy land. When we talk about our land here, our people now reside on 12 reservations in San Diego and another six more reservations in Baja California, Mexico. The international border cut us in half. We, as Kumeyaay people, have endured three waves of encroachment. First by the Spaniards in 1542, when Juan Cabrillo Rodriguez entered. He stayed for about a week. There were three ships. They left, and about a little bit more than two year, 200 years later, they came back, and that's when the first mission was put in San Diego. It was in 1769. And a lot of people don't know this, but our people attacked that mission because they tried to use us for slave labor. We weren't successful the first time, but on November 5th, 1775, at midnight, hundreds of warriors attacked the mission in San Diego, burned it to the ground, and killed Father Jaime. There were reasons for that. It was encroachment in our territory. And then the Mexican era came, and San Diego, the old town, was a bastion of, 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 of Mexican culture. But at the same time, they don't talk about San Diego almost fell three times to Kumeyaay attacks. The last time it was repelled by a, a Briti British schooner that was in the bay that used its cannons. And then the American era, when they came, 
You know, a lot of people don't know that during the Mexican-American War, there were negotiations with the Kumeyaay that whoever won, they would give us San Diego back. Well, the Treaty of San Isabel was one of 18 treaties that were made. It was uh, created on January 7th of 1852. It promised us a reservation from the Mexican border to Riverside County, from east of El Cajon all the way to Ocotillo. These were one of the 18 treaties that were never ratified. But these are some of the things that, you know, just wanted to say about our people and the history that we have here. So as far as our people are con considering this, Old Town is still unceded land. We have never abrogated any provisions of treaties. And this, this land that, that we are on here, it's more than just uh, uh, a Spanish presence. It's more than just a Mexican presence. It's more than just a, an American presence. It goes back to our our beginnings here in San Diego. And I just wanted to say, when we all come here, we all come together, we all live together as one. But let us not forget our people. Many people did not even know our Kumeyaay people were still still alive. It wasn't, uh, you know, it was BC before casinos. After casinos, then people started knowing who we are, that we were still around. But our people are still present. And we still have names for this land. And we still honor our traditions. And I want to thank you for giving me space to, to speak to this and to help to educate others. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. And may the Creator watch over all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rodriguez. Now it's my pleasure to welcome Professor Andy Strathman. Professor? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. We at the San Diego History Center are excited to be involved in the commemorations all this year, including the one this weekend. And, and the reason for that is that events like Founders Day this weekend give us the opportunity to engage the public and to share stories about our collective past. As people dedicated to preserving, studying, and interpreting history, we are especially eager to remind the public that we, that we are constantly reevaluating the events of the past, and that history is therefore always alive and relevant. The new, exhibit, the new exhibit that opened at the Sarah Museum on Presidio Hill in July points to this aspect of our endeavor. Our understanding of the history of the missions and of the Spanish period has evolved significantly over the past 50 years, and the new displays at the Sarah Museum reflect this. It is gratifying to those of us who are historians to witness the knowledge generated by our fellow historians, by archaeologists, and by other scholars making its way into the arena of public history. Likewise, the events this weekend will reflect an understanding of the history of San Diego that is the product of recent scholarship and that relates an account of the past that is inclusive, nuanced, and compelling. Old Town is a fitting spot for this commemoration of San Diego's 250th anniversary because it reminds us, first of all, of what was here, namely the Kumeyaay village of Kosoi, before the Spanish arrived. Contemplating that Kumeyaay village encourage us, encourage us to reflect on how brief a span 250 years actually is in the context of thousands of years of human habitation in this region. What's more, the stories of the people of Old Town, Kumeyaay, Spaniards, Californios, Mestizos, African Americans, European immigrants, merchants, soldiers, sailors, mountain men, these are all really stories about the diversity of our region. As we tell those stories, we are reminded of the continued presence of the varied groups of people who have made their homes here and continue to make their homes here. And in this recognition of our collective past, we may, be, we may begin to consider our shared present and future. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Well done, very well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. And to uh, wrap it up, I just wanted to say that the San Diego 250 efforts wouldn't be possible without the very broad coalition of civic leaders, um, volunteers, many community organizations. Um, this have worked very hard to put this on this year. They have worked countless hours with one goal. How do we really make these events meaningful? Um, 
and have a lot of significance. And so um, I can't thank all of them enough. This has been a labor of, of love. And here to talk about some of the successes for the uh, 250 efforts, um, our last speaker is going to be Marley Ehrenfeld, MIG San Diego. Marley? Thank you, Mayor Faulkner, for having me here today. This is a quick recap. So this is the, the final event sort of in our trilogy of uh, very important historic moments that define San Diego, if not California. So on April 11th, we had our first event, and it was to celebrate the San Antonio into San Diego Bay. And that ship came in and worked with the missions and became, in essence, the first city as well as the first port. I don't have a bike, so. <laughs> and we marked that day with the Port of San Diego on the Embarcadero where it's actually where they landed. On July 16th, the second in our trilogy, uh, we celebrated the, the Sarah, the opening of the Sarah Museum with a civic ceremony. I think what was different from what we did 50 years ago for the 200th was the inclusion of the story of our native peoples and the Kumeyaay and the raising of the flag. And we also celebrated all the different peoples that are here from Filipino to Spanish to Portuguese to China. Uh, it was a very moving event and it was very beautiful and a, a little bit of a recreation of when that mission was rebuilt in the turn of the century. So finally, this is the excitement. This is the uh, final event uh, celebrating historically. We have lots more ahead of us though. Uh, so you've heard all about that. I hope you have also seen the banners, the beautiful banners that are up and around. Uh, I'll pause. If only there were just still horses here, right, and carriages. So hopefully you've seen the beautiful banners. Uh, I know flying into San Diego in the early evening, I saw the banner, the whole length of the county admin building downtown lit up by the sun. It was pretty spectacular. And hopefully you are also seeing where California began because that's really the excitement. This is hopefully the beginning. Heritage tourism, we've shown that people are fascinated and interested in California's history, which actually began here. We have seen national coverage. What started as a local effort with private citizens has been picked up nationally. And I really thank MIG and the Tourism Authority for helping with that outreach and that engagement. Uh, we have articles and I encourage you to go to sandiego250.com. You see historical photos, you see a timeline of our life here in San Diego and how it informed California, as well as the articles and coverage of what other people are saying about our city. Lastly, I want to thank and recognize the volunteer citizens who love San Diego so much that they have worked really for two years to bring this together. So I'd like to recognize Ray Carpenter, Ann Hill, the Port of San Diego, Ray Ashley from the Maritime Museum, Bill Lawrence of the San Diego History Center, Joe Terzi of the San Diego Tourism Authority. Their commitment to much of it volunteer to bring this to life. And a very special thank you to, to Mayor Faulkner, the City of San Diego, for all that you've done uh, to make this a wonderful event. I look forward to seeing everyone here, and I look forward to all of you participating in this beautiful city. Thank you. Thank you, Marley. <laughs> Terrific. Marley, uh, thank you so much. Um, our region was really built by uh, many of the folks you see standing behind me who have that same community spirit. Um, so as we head into the weekend, really invite all San Diegans from throughout the region to come out to Old Town, um, to enjoy everything that this great event has to offer, to really help learn about our past and really look forward to the next 250 years of San Diego. Thank you all for coming. Thank you to everybody's hard work. Um, looking forward to a great event this weekend. Thank you, and any of us will be available to answer any questions one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Thank you my friend. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.